Welcome back as we rejoin the conversation with Daniel and Rolien Strauss. And of course, Daniel has just released the latest addition to his reading repertoire. Um, this is the follow up to a very successful first read. And of course, the billionaire mindset set the tone. And now the billionaire career takes it to the next level. Guys, thanks so much for, for joining us again. I need to ask this question Is this a follow up or a step up from the first book? Oh, nice. <laughs> so it's not a follow-up, but I certainly think it's a step-up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a moment of quiet reflection there for about 0.2 <laughs> <two seconds. laughs> This is in incredible. I, I loved reading the book because it's a story. It's actually yeah. a story that you can learn from, that you experience with, you know, the, the lead character. So it's just an amazing book to, to read. Amazing. Incredible. I mean... Danielle, from your side, what can you tell us? What is the story all about? About this, I saw the character's name is Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not Dan. Yeah. You're not the Dan. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, this is a story of a main character who worked for a boss and from paycheck to paycheck, but he wanted more. Mm. And then he goes on a journey with various mentors to some of the most beautiful places in South Africa where he learns new lessons. He makes mistakes, he gets some bad advice, he gets some good advice, and really just go on this journey of growth with him and, and learn those life lessons and those business lessons that unlock certain things in your life. I love that, and I, I have to ask you, because I know this is the, it's in the book, but how long is that journey of growth? Because I think a lot of people, especially us living in this digital age, a lot of people expect instant growth or they think that one move is what's going to get them where they are instead of it being a continuous journey. So there's different aspects of growth in the ca character. There's external growth, but there's significant internal growth as well. And what we found is that growth can actually happen in an instant. Let me give you an example. In 2008, 2009, I was an engineer with an MBA. I couldn't find a job for six months. Sure. And there was a moment when I decided never again will I put my future in other people's hands. Mm. I have to take control now of my life. And that was an, almost an instant growth. But there is obviously a lead on to experience sure. that moment of growth. It's the watershed moment. And I think so many of us unfortunately wait to not work for six months, wait to lose everything through COVID, wait till these, the adversity arrives to see the best parts of ours and forget that it's the same choice. You've still got to make that little switch in your head to do things differently. Before I get some tips for you, hopefully for free, um, <laughs> the, the, this journey speaks to a level of authenticity that we haven't seen before. You've always had the knowledge and you've been able to very well articulate that in such a beautiful way. This seems like a lived experience on a different level. As Daniel's gone through this process, how has he grown and changed having to put this down in this kind of narrative? The one thing that I, that I really respect and admire about Daniel is the fact that he always wants to learn. He's always out to get new information, not only for himself, but to make it um, a story or to tell it in a story to in, inspire sure. other entrepreneurs to, to help. And that's the thing where mentorship comes in. You don't have to make the mistakes that others made. You can learn from them before you stop working for six months or yeah. lose everything. Um, and I think this book is kind of like a mentor um, in a book form where you can learn from his lessons, go through the experiences that he goes through and just end up growing so much faster. I love that, growing so much faster. And I think so often people are scared of that growth, the journey, because it's not always pretty. It can be painful. It's a challenge. It is a challenge. Yeah. It definitely is. Did you find writing your second book there was a bit more pressure? It was definitely much more difficult. A storybook is so much more difficult to write than a self-help book. Um, but... The big thing was I got very, very good feedback from my first book and people specifically liked the way in which I used little stories to convey very difficult business and, concepts, and yeah. investment concepts. So then I thought, okay, how can I make it as accessible to as many people as possible? So let's take a whole story, but get that emotional connection with the character as well. 
And the feedback that I'm getting is that people are like, I finally get yes. it because now they live through this with the character. And I always say, if Dan comes in here now, I think he'll strangle me first. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'll give me a high five because shame I put the guy through so many difficult, <laughs> difficult He's things. He's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. He's gone through the fire. Um, can you distill it? I, and I don't want people to subvert the process of going through the, the journey with Dan. Three tips, possibly, to light that fire for entrepreneurs that are, are maybe at that, that phase where they've taken responsibility. They're ready to, to make, as you did, that decision to take ownership and control. What's the roadmap? Can you make maybe three tips to start that journey? I think the first thing is to change your mindset. If you mind, like, I'm going to have a 30-second story that I want to tell you quickly. It's this soldier that was in a concentration camp in the middle of World War Three. Oh, World War Two, sorry, <laughs> World War Two, <laughs> and it is the almost the, there. Yeah. It is the worst possible living experience that he was in. But he found a little radio, and this radio he tuned in the middle of the night, and he could hear something softly. It was a news bulletin, and he couldn't hear much, but he heard, "The war is over." He switched it off, and he put it away, so nobody was allowed to see it. But the next morning, everybody could see a change in him, but. Nobody else knew it, not even the guards, sure. but he already knew that the war was over. So the first step we have to take is to say, let's get a goal, let's get a clear roadmap of how to reach that goal, and you know what, for, your, for you, the war will be over already. You already know, I know how to get there, I'm definitely going to get there, but the rest of the world doesn't know it yet. And you just want to get to that point. I love that. We're actually going to leave it there. <laughs> Telling you, world, you just don't know yet that we are coming. And in fact, we're going to make it that much easier for you to tap into this energy. Um, very kindly, we are giving away, I say we loosely, a copy of <laughs> The Billionaire Career. And to enter, what you've got to do is let us know what is a good reason for starting a business? Open that Pandora's box and share with us. Share your answer on Expresso's Facebook page. And you can find those terms and conditions on expressoshow.com. The competition will close midday tomorrow. That's the 10th of May, so get on it. Oh, incredible. And we already have some entries. So let's take a look at our social media at some of those comments that have come through. We have Shakira that says a good reason for starting a business is to assist the people in our community by providing them with jobs and training them so that they can start businesses of their own. Giving back is so important and helping people put food on the table is always a blessing. Thank you for that, Shakira. Ubuntu, the mm -hmm. South African way. I love that. Then Ruth um, weighing in saying, or Ku saying, salary comes at a timed period. Good reason to start a business so you can be your own boss. Create your own salary and work with determination because you're not there to just work and get paid. You're there to work hard to grow your venture. Put that on the back of your book. I love that. <laughs> Ref saying a good reason to start a business is to create a job for my community and take care of my children as well. Well. These comments are incredible. Please keep them coming. You can head on over to Expresso Morning Show on SABC3. That's on Facebook. I leave, we have another comment. Mm, Arusha Wang in saying, being your own boss and managing your time. Expresso Morning Show, SABC3, and not forgetting, <laughs> creating employment for others. It's amazing how often that thread weaves through. I'd love to follow in my late dad's footsteps as he was a successful businessman of two thriving businesses. Arusha, what is standing in your way? Clearly, you guys got the brief. Thank you so much. Keep those comments coming. We've got some amazing ones. So if you want this book, you're going to have to try really hard. Um, but this amazing couple are not going anywhere. We might have a little bit of fun with them. Get a layer beneath on the romantic side in just a moment. Stick around.